Fallout 4's gameplay is honestly one of the strongest parts of the game. The RPG elements, the settlement system for some, and a lot of the other components like the actual questing aspect of it isn't really necessarily people's favorite part, but the gunplay, new crafting systems, the way your character just moves around in the world typically is really favorable. There are undeniable step forwards in this iteration when compared to some of the older ones like Fallout 3 or even Fallout New Vegas. With that being said, the game's not perfect. There are still things that definitely can be improved in the game gameplay aspect of Fallout 4. In today's video, hopefully I'm going to show you five things that will actually help you improve that. And those things are going to be mods made by the wonderful members of our community. You can find links to everything I'm about to show you down below. If you guys do enjoy the video, I encourage you to leave a like or a comment and it helps with the video's kind of rankings on YouTube. But with that being said, let's kick things off with my personal favorite mod and one of the best gameplay overhauls with see-through combat scopes. If you guys have played through Fallout 4, you know as you zoom in with a scope, you cut to a black screen. It's extremely annoying. I hate it. It's one my least favorite aspects of the game, but fortunately we do have an amazing modding community as I did mention before, and see-through combat scopes did come out shortly thereafter, basically overhauling and fixing this. What this mod is going to do is create a framework as well as integration into a lot of the vanilla weapons of a scope that does have varying degrees of magnification that you can look through and just kind of look through naturally. You don't cut to a black screen, it doesn't take over your entire screen, it's like you're actually looking through a weapon scope. Honestly, this should have been in the vanilla game. As I did mention, a lot of mods do take advantage of of the framework provided by this, but it also does include just kind of a basic mod, so it will work with all the vanilla weapons in Fallout 4 because I think you're going to want to use this. Maybe I'm just extremely picky or something like that, but switching from the vanilla sniper rifle where you cut to a black screen to a modded weapon that uses see-through combat scopes, I just can't go back. It's extremely frustrating. I feel like it really takes you out of intense situations, especially on survival mode where you really have to be on point with your shots because you die so much quicker. See-through combat scopes is really just going to facilitate that and all around, in my eyes, make the game a a lot more enjoyable. So we have one that's actually going to really mix up gameplay, and that's going to be live dismemberment. What this mod is going to do is make it so you can actually blow the limbs off of your enemies. Another huge, really disappointing aspect of Fallout 4 is the bullet spongy nature of a lot of the opponents, and especially legendary enemies you will encounter. This mod isn't going to totally fix that, there's other mods for that, but they really kind of overhaul the experience. This one's going to, though, make it so when that super hard to kill raider is running at you with a baseball bat or a gun, you can simply blow his legs off or kind of focus down his legs, maybe using that see-through combat scope and thus he will be much less of a threat. This also works on animals which is pretty cool so you can blow the legs off a death claw or ghouls of course but you can always do that. And honestly I think it makes the game a lot more fun. Blowing arms off of enemies can be a really important thing. Maybe you're kind of going onto a base you notice oh that's a legendary enemy or maybe oh that enemy has a really powerful weapon. Well then ahead of time you could try and focus down his arms with a sniper rifle or something like that and it really just adds in a whole nother dynamic to the game. You could focus on certain body parts and be rewarded for that focus. But at the same time you can still just shoot enemies in the chest or wherever and the game will kind of work the same way in that sense. At the end of the day, since I found this mod, it has honestly just earned a permanent spot on my load order. I think the features it brings to the table are really just a huge improvement to the gameplay of the game and it makes it a lot more fun. So when you have true frags, this is a pretty interesting mod. Basically what this is going to do is make it so any of the explosives in the game, meaning the grenades and the mines, are now going to have shrapnel as they explode. So this is only going to be for like the regular grenades, like the fragmentation based grenades. Obviously it doesn't really make sense for this to appear on a plasma grenade or kind of pulse grenade. But now as you do throw down one of these grenades, you're going to see little pieces of shrapnel shoot off into every direction and that will injure or potentially kill the enemies around a grenade. This actually has a couple effects. First and foremost, obviously grenades are noticeably more powerful. Even if you run away, you still can get injured by one. In addition, it also makes grenades way more viable and you just have to really note what enemies are carrying grenades. Raiders kind of get a buff as a result of this since they are such abundant users of grenades, gunners also. This one might not be for everyone, but personally, again, this is another one that since I've used it, I just really love the changes it makes to the game. It makes grenades that were otherwise just kind of something that you take a few steps to the left or right or sprint in one direction away from it and you largely are okay, where now you have to be a little bit more careful. Having poor positioning ahead of time can really cost you if you kind of find yourself trapped in a small corridor with a grenade. Useful Crank is just an awesome mod. Basically, what this is going to do is make it so the laser musket no longer requires ammo. I found myself really turning away from that gun because the crank aspect of it just made it frustrating and tedious to use. And honestly, there wasn't a huge benefit to it. It's not like it did noticeably more damage when compared to some of the other weapons in Fallout 4, like a heavily upgraded sniper rifle. Useful Crank gives it new viability at the early levels, which you do get one during the intro of Fallout 4 as you are helping Preston. So ammo concerns are non-existent for that weapon as you do 
carry it. But even at the later levels of survival, when carry weight really becomes a huge issue, as you probably have a few different weapons that are for special use scenarios. It's really just something that I feel like gives this weapon a whole kind of breath of new life. It gives it new purpose in the game, and at least for me, it really made me use the gun that I otherwise pretty much ignored ever since I found something that was at least slightly better or higher damage. So last, but certainly not least, we do have unique uniques. This is something that just should have been in the game. If you played through Fallout 4 and you got the unique weapons, you realize they just have a legendary effect. Although there was a huge challenge or price tag associated with getting that gun, there's nothing really special about it. It does have a legendary effect, but those also spawn on legendary enemies, and a lot of times the ones you find on legendary enemies are actually better. Well, unique uniques is of course going to make these have different things about them, whether it be a texture change, a slight model change, something to make that gun just feel and look a little bit different. Different. Again, I personally love this mod. It just makes those guns that you got through that hard quest or you saved up to buy from one of the vendors feel a lot more special and notable. It is something that was present in some of the previous Fallout games, but I guess Bethesda kind of got lazy with this new system and didn't want to include it this time. Now, when using some of these guns, it's immediately obvious when it's something you earned in a special way or you just got off a legendary enemy or even just the vanilla option with no effect. But yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you feel like there's a mod I missed? Obviously, there's a few major overhaul mods, but I don't really think they have a place in a video like this. Things like Frost or Immersive Gameplay or of course Horizon are things that change a lot of aspects about the gameplay and this is more meant to be micro and focusing on one or two things changed per mod. But yeah, that's pretty much it again. As always, I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you all next time. Later!